ESPN presents NCAA basketball, the championship game from the Maui Invitational, the unbeaten Wildcats of Arizona and the fifth-ranked Wildcats of Kentucky. Hi and welcome, I'm Chris Fowler. We hope you'll start your Christmas sports weekend with a good Maui Wowie hoops game. This is the matchup we expected. Form has held. Kentucky, Arizona should be a good one. Meanwhile, tonight we're going to track the progress of the number one team. Arkansas has been beating people by 34 points a game, but Nolan's having a tough time with his former school, Tulsa. Gary Collier, he's had a brilliant night. He spots up, he'll get the ball and drain the three, and Tulsa had a five-point halftime lead. Back come the Hogs early in the second half. Clinton McDaniel to Corliss Williamson on the alley-oop. But with 11.25 to play, it's Tulsa by a deuce. Four players for the Hurricanes in double figures. As I said, we'll keep you posted. But up next, we'll tip it off from Maui. Should be a great matchup of backcourts. For Kentucky, they have the senior, Travis Ford, to go along with Tony Delk. And for the Arizona Wildcats, Khalid Reeves and Damon Stoudemire. John Saunders and Bill Raftery have it for you next. Fifth-ranked Kentucky Wildcats are a team on the run. Last night, guard Tony Delk was 7 for 11 from three-point range. And Travis Ford led the floor show with 27 points and six assists to his streaking mates. The 13th-ranked Arizona Wildcats are led by Glitt Reeves, who averages 23 points a game and who had the game clincher last night against Boston College. But Arizona's hopes may rest on unsung heroes. Reggie Geary, who gives Arizona extra scoring punch on the wing. And Ray O's from everywhere. Get ready to run with the Cats next. And for the final time in 1993, we welcome you once again to the shores of Maui and inside the Lahaina Civic Center, where tonight it's the 10th annual Maui Invitational Basketball Tournament and the championship game between the Wildcats of Kentucky and the Wildcats of Arizona. Welcome once again, everyone. John Saunders along with Bill Raftery. It's been terrific basketball action leading up to this game. You couldn't ask for more. Number five against number 13. And boy, do we expect to see pressure tonight. A lot of different looks. When you look at Kentucky, they like that man-to-man -man full. They get after you and try and channel the dribbler. Here you see the two guards, Travis Ford and Tony Delk. They're assigned to their men. As the dribbler brings you into a situation where there's a double or a triple, they respond, they get after it as they close the trap. Generally, something pretty good happens for their offensive end. Now, Lute Olson, he likes the pressure as well. He says, hey, we'll take the steals, but for the most part, we pressure to wear you down. And, and they will face guard, and, and they do wear you down eventually during the course of the game. You may not shoot as well. Here, everybody fronting, and now the situation using the sideline and the half-court line. This foot speed of Damon Stoudemire and then Reeves closing. All of a sudden, the chance of looping the ball into the middle and starting a fast break the other way can occur. All right, so go get yourself a cold beverage because you're going to get a workout just watching this game between the Wildcats of Kentucky and the Wildcats of Arizona in Maui next. Hit it. If you want to feel the music, you've got to have great speakers. Radio Shack's Optimus speakers can surround you with theater sound or put a command performance on your bookshelf, in your living room, or on the road. Come audition over 80 speakers that deliver great sound, no matter what kind of music you listen to. Only at Radio Shack, your Christmas electronics store. Doesn't it feel so sharp? Doesn't it feel on the mark? Doesn't it feel good to pay less? Who's got the latest men's shoes on sale? Pay less. Doesn't it feel like leather? So put together. Doesn't it feel good to pay less? Men's leather lovers, dress shoes, and hikers starting at a very comfortable $19.99. Better step on it. Doesn't it feel good to pay less? You know, winning a Super Bowl was great. But now I'm winning with interstate batteries. We won the ultimate NASCAR race. We won the Daytona 500. Get an interstate battery wherever you see this sign. We check them before you buy them. For fresh power, guaranteed. What makes a man? What makes a man? The fragrance is Hugo Boss. 
The remote control race car, yours with any $33 Hugo Boss fragrance purchase at fine department stores. We wish you a Merry Christmas. Every year at this time, we count our blessings at Walmart. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We're thankful we get to live in a country where freedom has no bounds. We wish you a Merry Christmas. But most especially, we're thankful for the people who make our jobs possible. And a happy vendor partners who bring us our great products and to all our wonderful customers who buy them. May this be the merriest Christmas of all. ESPN's exclusive coverage of NCAA basketball is brought to you by the new Dodge division of the Chrysler Corporation and by Foot Locker, the world's most complete athletic footwear store where it all begins. Welcome back once again to Maui. There's a look at the beautiful scenery from outside, but the most important thing happening in Lahaina right now happens inside at the Civic Center. John Saunders along with Bill Raftery. Let's take a look at our McDonald's starting lineup. Roderick Rose, just a sophomore at 6'7". He can come away from the basket, go to it as well, and one of the most explosive players that you will see in college basketball. Rick Pitino is his head coach. 101 victories now at Kentucky, just the third coach to do that. Adolph Rupp and Joe B. Hall got there as well for Arizona. Joseph Blair had a tough time scoring the basketball yesterday, but was big getting rebounds, and that will be extremely important against a big front line of Kentucky. And Lute Olsen, in his 11th year at Arizona, has managed to pick up 246 victories there, 437 overall. And this guy simply knows how to get the job done. Keeps getting it done. And, and the big thing for him, as he mentioned to both of us, how they help out on deck, where the pressure will come. They got to stay at home at the guards. You'll see it coming from the four and three spot. Reeves and Stoudemire have been having a terrific week here in Maui, and we are underway. Jared Prickett on the wing. Arizona man to man, John. See Rodney Dent down on the blocks. Prickett, though, moves it in. Very good without the basketball. Put a lot of pressure. Look at this. Prickett just found himself wide open. Uh, that happens because of the motion. You exchange people, you switch, and occasionally you're tardy. Kentucky opening in a little zone here. Yes, uh, Rick said that He'd like to, in a sense, shade towards the guards, keep Travis out of foul problems. Stoudemire handles it so much, they're going to save it. Let's see how Arizona responds to this. They can shoot it. There's Stoudemire from the corner. Blair with the rebound. Gets Hack taking it up. Oh, well, that's a big thing against the zone. You don't have the ability to identify in your checkout, and guys like Joseph Blair can get in position. It's important that O's and Geary are able to step in and make jumpers now because they're going to shade towards the two superior shooters at guard. Well, Joseph Blair had 10 rebounds against Boston College in the semifinal game. His problem was shooting just three of 10, and he gets a lot of second chances because of his ability to rebound. He's got to stick them back. And the big thing yesterday, uh, Luke felt he got tired in the second half. Energy is dissipated because of the weather here in Maui, and I'm not complaining, incidentally. <laughs> Never do that. The second won't roll in for Joseph Blair. Kentucky goes to the offense. Dent and Blair early on hammering each other down on the blocks. A, a good job harassing the passer. It's very important against this team. You can't give them good vision. Roderick Rhodes in oh. Tiffy off the glass. Leading the wrong way, huh? The kiss. Down and through, and looks like they're rotating the post. Foul line looks open if they flash in there. Blair takes the pass, moves it back out. Stoudemire, Geary, misses. Big rebound, and Ray O's nearly comes up with it, but Kentucky clear. There's that clear out down low for Dent. Delk will not rattle in and out. Boy, was he hot yesterday. Uh, with the zone, you want to beat it down on occasion, get some freebies. Now the straight up man to man. Looks like after misses, they're going man to man. Delk, nice job of denial on mm -hmm. Reeves. 
Now right here, there's not help on the hedge. Stoudemire tries to find Blair, but it goes right into the hands of Travis Ford. Always looking. Delp. Now Delp was 7 of 10 for three-pointers. He started 0 for 2 tonight. Nice cross-court pass. They utilize all of the area. How about that one? A little local rivalry. Nolan also. Richardson back to the team he used to coach, and they have the lead right now. Sleep in the back. Reggie Geary with the lob. Ooh. What a spin by Robert Rhodes. O's with the rebound. Geary was looking for another one in the back. The later Reeves a little short with it on the run. Jared Prickett. He lost it, but Reeves couldn't get it either. A great pass by Ford, but look at this one. I believe they got into a matchup here, and they just couldn't identify. Nice back screen by Joseph Blair. Set it up, give him an assist, and a strong send it in. Travis Ford. Look at that foul line. The zone extended because of the shooters. Now Rhodes has to identify on Stoudemire. Stoudemire thought about the shot, now moves into the paint, back out for Khalid Reeves. Stoudemire lets fly with a three and carries it. Uncanny. And they force you into decisions. But Roderick Rhodes off and running. Circus shot won't go. Demko over the back will be nailed with a foul. Two now on Rodney Dent. How about Roderick Rhodes going to the 10? The inability to convert. This will come. He gets he loses his legs. He gets on the long side. Probably should have gone up on the same side. But there's number two. Arizona looking to take the lead. Lid Reeves somehow snuck free, won't go. Cricket goes after the rebound. It still belongs to Arizona. Dent getting the blow now with the foul problems. The zone playing the shooters, but you're spreading the floor. It's not, it's not easy to cover everybody. See Dent on the bench now, and you, you mentioned the zone. Five of Arizona's six shots have been outside the three-point arc. And they just switched to the man-to-man. -man. Now kill this dribble. Should have turned and face. A clear out here. And the hand check. Wave off the basket. Travis Ford picks up his first foul. Now they have been doing this all tournament. Hank Nichols here. They want to clean up the hand checking and sometimes it's the nickel dime variety but that's the rule it's early but it's just a one-point lead got the portfolio got it maui patino's former assistant tubby smith and tulsa are trying to upset the number one team tulsa's lou dawkins comes up with a loose ball swoops in a very close game right now arkansas has a two-point lead five and a half to play john rapp will keep you posted Chris playing slot. We'll keep an eye on that one. That would be a oh my huge goodness. upset right now. Seven to six is the score. Three-point field goals. Both teams have knocked one down, but Arizona, it's five of their six shots have been from three-point range, and this is what they attempt per game averages coming in. Just about the same, and they will put it up. And they have followers all over, and they're in the Arizona section. They've spilled over. Well, there's a good contingent here from Arizona, but if you haven't been with us throughout the week, it's a sea of blue here in Maui because they have at least a thousand people who've made the trip from Lexington here to Maui. Roderick Rhodes, just a little strong, but a nice tip in by Prickett. Uh, what, what you have to love about Prickett, he runs the floor, contributes in any way he can, and that's the third time Roderick's gotten to the 10 and hasn't concluded. Four points, though, for Prickett. The lid Reeves starting a little cold. He's short. Rayos turns around a little short as well. Stripped by Reeves again. Well, Joseph Blair with a great clear out. It ends up with a, 
attempt by Ellis. Andre Reddick with quite a block, and at the other end, Prickett scores. Now, Kentucky's been committing, over committing, helping on the pinch, and they've gotten away with it because they haven't been able to knock down the shots. O's bangs it home. That's a deuce. Solid player. 13 a game. Even shoots threes at 30%. Check the back screens out now, John. And what decisions you have to make on the defensive end. Blair's sort of jamming things up, helping out on roads. They got Geary with the uh, low post situation. <laughs> Little uh, backside approval as Reggie gets nicked. They do that as well as anybody. The hold off in the lane, suggesting a loop to the glass, enticing their teammate to hit it. Corey Williams coming into the game for Arizona as Ray O's will get a breather. They got a basket on the inbounds before for Ford. Ford very nearly had a three on the inbounds. Rhodes gets a couple of guys in the air. Won't go. Gets his own rebound. Still won't go. Blair had it. And lost it. Uh, lots of activity by Roderick. And they will start going in before this season's out. He's in the middle of the mix. And the concern for Arizona is rebounding. A dummy play. Everybody, up. Everybody waiting for the inbound. And Khalid looking for his man. Did not see the pass. I'm not suggesting that he has that difficulty. It's just called a dummy play. Lid Reeves started slowly last night against Boston College. He's done it again tonight, missing his first three field goals. Nice kiss. There he goes. Well, he'll light it up. Uh, a lot of the pro scouts just feel that body and offensive explosiveness. Once in a while, they forget the other guy. But other than that, pretty dynamic duo. Nice cut by Rhodes by Geary as well, and he's got a hand on it. John Prickett has to read ahead. If that pass was intercepted, a nice cut doesn't mean you have to throw it. You have to read and see if the defense is there to steal it. They're fortunate to get it back. Boy. Tony Delk is free. Decides to feed it into Prickett. A little strong with it, and a big rebound by Corey Williams. Stoudemire to Geary. Oh, he got three guys in the air. A lot with the bounce, huh? And they're big, so you can't see the passing lanes. Tony Dell trying to work on Glid Reeves for finds Travis Ford and carries a three-pointer. You gotta work at both ends. Offensive-minded guys occasionally relax. That time, Damon Stoudemire sniffing the ball, forgot his guy. 101 threes for Travis Ford last year. He's picked it up again. Stoudemire, the top he goes in. Zell, too strong. Big rebound. Good quick hands by Riddick. Dell gets it back. Williams had to do was squeeze the apple and right here I've noticed Kentucky using the dribble a lot more this half generally it's a quick hitting team but right here the little extra and unfortunately for loot and company the kiss at the end gives them a chance for three it should have been going the other way Delph will go to the line you see what he's done at the Maui Invitational 19 points Averaging 15 plus for the season, had a career 23 against Ohio State, including the seven three-pointers in 11 attempts. Uh, John Stoudemire cut through before and looked for the ball at the foul line. If he stops there, he can do some damage. That middle is stretched. All the way across. Corey Williams gets fouled as he takes it up. Cricket gets nailed for it. The two guards are extended so far on the shooter. You can drive across that medium post area. Good offensive move by Corey Williams. 
Number one on cricket, four on the team. Jamel Martinez will check into the game for Kentucky as cricket goes to the bench. Jamel almost like a point forward in his ability to see and deliver. Excellent at dumping it down to his partner. Riddick in the game, maybe the guy shaping up. Reggie Geary will come into the game now for Arizona, and Khalid Reeves will go to the bench. A lot of substituting, other than the officials, everybody in and out of the game. We've got to prepare physically for some stretch runs. It's a five-point lead for Kentucky. Back to Maui in a moment. Top betting from Tulsa. Arkansas had a one-point lead. Watch big Corliss Williamson drive the hoop, the hat. He hit the free throw. Less than three minutes to play. Arkansas is pulled away. But Tulsa just come back to cut it to two. We'll keep you guys posted. All right, Chris, thanks a lot. What a couple of days, huh? Chris has seen a lot of great action. And right here, the defense sort of adjusting a little bit as they're feeling one another out. And the guards are the biggest concern for both coaches. As you look at that audience, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Minardi, Rick Pitino's in-laws, are here as his guest and their son, Billy. It's the Christmas gift. We've got a chance to say hello to them. Down from New York. They're having a ball. First time he's had a 10 for Christmas. Ooh. Stoudemire with this steal on Ford. And as much as that was a steal, it looked like maybe Travis Ford tried him. a little too much. Yeah, maybe. And, and Stoudemire, we saw the last two days, very quick feet. Shows and reshows. Can't force it, and he, he frustrated him again. Nice pass. <laughs> Brazzo scores. The That's counter. It shields it from Riddick and scores. And Delp loses it. Travis Ford doesn't make many mistakes. That's three in a row. Sunday night, the Kansas City Chiefs and the Minnesota Vikings, 8 o'clock Eastern time. That's following NFL prime time with Chris Berman, Tom Jackson, Robin Roberts. The best hour of professional football you'll see. The Kansas City Chiefs in command in the West for the game lead. And Minnesota still very much in the hunt in the NFC Central. And not often you'll see that many mistakes by Travis Ford. There's a, he won the game with that kind of shot. That's what he possesses. Great strength for the release and can take a hit. And now Arizona's hit six straight from the field after missing five in a row. Well, they got the push off. They worked hard at not extending the arm. That time, Marty McDonald right down there. You see Epps in your screen coming in. Anthony going to get some valuable minutes. Rick, excuse me, John. You see Travis in the background. Very early. Important that he not make mistakes. But right here, there's that extension. They're going to clean it up. Kentucky very good at not pushing off. That time caught. Rick Pitino right now is giving Travis Ford the lesson of exactly what he did wrong. Very calmly, I might add. Now, some of it's uh, Damon Stoudemire, too. Oh, absolutely. I mean, you're going against one of the best defensive guards. There's a lob that was going to be caught by anyone. They're not in this building. Rhodes spins on Reeves, the double team. Good kick out. Roderick Rhodes knocks in a three. And he gives Lou a little pat as he runs back. I don't know if Lute said give him that one or not. But he makes that. What a arsenal he'll possess. All summer, he's got to work on that jumper. He's going to be a terrific basketball player. Not that he is weak right now. No, he is just about there. Learning his role is what the coaches tell us, but he is just about there. Nice pump fake, Brasso covers for Riddick. They like to trap on the wings when it shows. Reeves needs help. Good luck. Wide open is O's, and Riddick has to foul him. The only way to stop the goal. Overcommitment on the defensive end, but inside out, how often do you see it? Good prying look. Riddick sees he doesn't have anything. His partner toes the line and delivers. Good sound basketball. And you see Riddick quickly get to the hole as well in case it kicked back out. 
And you think of his high school and all those great players, one of the signs in the audience for Bobby Hurley to get well. And good news, we mentioned during the course of this tournament, and we read and heard things coming along other than the knee, which is the next step. You think Bobby Hurley, Terry DeHair, Jerry Walker, and the all-time leading scorer at St. Anthony's is Robert Rose. So <laughs> that's saying something. That's why they win so many games. And now what you'll see, I believe, is Travis Ford trying to get people involved. Don't try and do the tough things as he did on that shot against Stoudemire. Those are good bearing both of those. 65% free throw shooter. Didn't look like it on those two. There's the reverse guy, a little flare cut. Four quick release. Miss uh -oh. Grasso, I believe. There are a few hands up there, but Jeff Grasso got his in and tipped it home. And here's what they've been saving, the full court pressure. Little double up. Tough to get this guy in a corner. His dad down here from Portland to watch him. Stratemeyer with no problem getting this one up. Pressure a little more token than we've seen from Kentucky. Stoudemire in. Oh, they got Jamal late. But did he ride him nicely? Helped out on Travis other than reaching down. A demon, a lot of people are talking in this tournament. They think he goes left effectively, but I've seen him go right just as well. Arkansas and Tulsa, you saw, just well tied up, 84 apiece. We'll keep you posted on that one. Chris Fowler in the studio will let us know how it winds up. Stoudemire now with eight points. Kentucky is over the limit for one and one the rest of the way up until 10. And then we get the two shots for Arizona. Arizona with just two two fouls. Owes almost sticks back to miss. Ford a little behind the back to Riddick. Screen down and then oh. Phil Long. Oh. Lob just a little bit too high for Riddick. He couldn't handle it. McLean. Oh, stripped by Rose from behind. Then Brasher nearly ties it up. McLean needs help. Pretty good reaction by McLean. That he can do. Just about drops it. A little screen and they get to the tip. Uh-oh. Roderick having some fun with Lou Olsen. He must have said something to him. Every time he makes one, he looks over. He's saying, you're not going to play me. You're not going to play me back there behind the three-point arc. All right. You're worried about the other guys. I'm going to get you. There's the right. Not bad, huh? Stoudemire traveled before he gave it up. Good idea. Very good luck. Fifth turnover now for Arizona, and Kentucky's lead is six. The Gary Collier has been brilliant for the Golden Hurricane. Hits the three off the screen. He has 30. It is now tied. 36 seconds to play. Arkansas ball. John. What a jump shot that was, huh? As quick as he got it turned and delivering. And right now, this number, impressive. And you think of Patino talking about, we'd love to be 8% above what the other team shoots. He's considerably above that right now. Very guard-oriented Arizona team. That's why I think Blair, according to Luke, has to come along and contribute. I think he can. Kentucky, as you look at those three-point field goals, he's made four in a row after missing the first two. Spin out and lock low by Rhodes. Travis Ford, another one. This one's a little long, but oh. a long rebound, and Rick gets it. And Blair grabs him from behind. Now that is going after a rebound. Major League snare. Oh. The spring on this long one above everybody, and as you noted, Joseph Blair reaches in and disrupts. Just the third team foul on Arizona, so not yet near the bonus for Kentucky. Now they got a, a couple of jump shots for Ford on the inbounds. And a good play by Reeves as he bounces out. 
Riddick with a nice catch. Back out to Jamil Martinez. 3 no good. Joseph Blair had it. And Grasso stole it. But it's Arizona's basketball. I think he pointed the wrong direction. Yeah, okay, good referee. Good coordination. Grasso has been active. That's the second big time play. Teddy Valentine explaining to Luke. Now, Jamel gets a great look, but this is where Kentucky keeps after you. And that's almost like a press situation. You leave it up, they're going to knock it down. So Kentucky goes back to work as Arizona misses an opportunity. Oh, he had it. He takes it and carries it. Three-pointer for Martinez. That little threatening position. You can jab, put it on the floor and go. Or take that shot. Biggest lead now for Kentucky at nine. Stoudemire from way out. Amazing. That little guy with that range. And look at this hustle by Geary. Good job to get back. Kentucky still winds up with it. Now, Rose has an advantage if they can get him involved. Travis Ford comes right back to Riddick. Delk, you know he's going to let that go. And he knocks it down. Well, that helped their inside people. They keep knocking them. You got to come out and play them. Big area to pass. Now, they go to Blair. I like to see this. I think he can help this team. And you gotta, he's got to get some touches. Going over top of Riddick with that one. Now, when Blair's guy, Riddick, screens, he looks to help out. A good pass. They could have had it to Riddick. Tough shot for Roderick Rhodes. Not good selection. Well, sometimes when you feel it, you like to let him go. Stoudemire pulls up himself. That was like Larry Bird. He knew that was in from the time he released it and started back on defense. Stay back, baby. What a crossing. Talk about Tim Hardaway's crossover. That was in the same league. Delk from NBA range. Reeves. He takes a look over here like, oh, my goodness. How deep is that one? You got to play him. 11 for Delk. As he can't get in a man on man, and here's the chesty by Delk. I knew Reeves was going to go after having his eyes burned on the other end. Guess what? Arkansas and Tulsa uh, are headed to overtime. Nine overtime games last night. We got another one, but this one involves the number one team in the nation. Once you're number one, you got some. Now look at this. You think you're, he's going left, and you retreat that way and look at the ability defensively Travis back on the heels but anybody would be with that kind of move and then the natural ability to stroke it but it was all set up by a terrific dribble move Reeves hits the front end of the one and one now the philosophy of some guys is press a team that likes to press I mean, these two both have the same difficulties when you think of it. But why do you, why is that a philosophy? It's because the other team would be tired from pressing, therefore they, they wouldn't want to be pressed themselves? I, I, basically, I think it's because you like to attack and you don't like to be attacked. But other than that, there should be no reason because you practice against it every day. And I don't know if they give this to Travis Ford in here or Jamel. A little clear out down there that the Jamel, I guess, just didn't like. Five, but you would think you'd get better practicing against the press every day. You would think so. But your subs can't simulate it, and they go to one on one right now. It was Travis Ford who gets hit with the foul. And Teddy Valentine started to give the ball back over, forgetting we were in the bonus. Uh, Travis doing a little screen away, and Jamel down below doing some screening, and they get Ford. Stoudemire with 14 points already. It's 5-10 to go in the first half. Walter McCarty comes in for Kentucky. Andre Riddick will get a breather. 
Arizona now 8 of 11 from the line. Kentucky's only gone to the line once. They've made it, but they've only been there one time. Both teams on track point-wise to their average in the 90s. There's that little lock in the lane. I don't know. I like the call. I think it was up like the, the over the cylinder. I thought it was coming down. Great offensive maneuvering. Cricket able to hold off and right here. I thought it was over the glass. You didn't, huh? Well, the glass we'll over the rim. Never know I mean. now. No. You ever notice when guards are real good that the big guys are run by and not discarded but ignored on occasion? And that's what I think Lute has a problem with. I mean, his guys can score at will, but I think you've got to appease the inside people. Generally, they're gentle souls. They don't complain too much, but they should be rewarded. And that's how Arizona, that's, they'll go as far as I think goes and Blair, Corey Williams, Jarvis Kelly, and Flanagan as they touch the ball and help this program. Again, the free throw differential, but Stoudemire, with his 18th point of the game, he averages just about 18 a game, and he's already there. We got five minutes to go in the first half. McCarty can shoot it and handle. Sees over the D. Played some good minutes yesterday. Martinez lets fly as they back off him. Well, Blair's job is to help out in the post, and Jamel on the money. Gets the lead back to seven. There's a little show on the pick and roll defensively. This kid's so good with the bounce. Nice that they blitz it and rotate. Comes out of it and finds Ray O's. And back basic right now. Shot clock at 10. They go over the top and now a step up by McCarty. Shot clock at five. Geary with a tough shot that's short. Great defensive sequence right there by Kentucky. I hate to say Wildcats, it's a little confusing. That's right. But that was all set up by handling the high post there, the pick and roll. Kent and Cleveland State in their fourth overtime period. It's wild. Travis Ford leans and throws it up. A little more offensive minded than we've seen him. Nice play by Cricket. Caught that one like a wide receiver over his shoulder. Travis Ford. Martinez with the long rebound. Oh, goodness. Oh, what a play by Martinez. <laughs> takes it up and makes a tough shot. He shook everything. Jerry Lee Lewis in his best day, huh? Shake, rattle, and, and roll. roll. Not bad. Not for a man your age. Going back to your day. <laughs> Now Blair comes out, and that should open up the post pass. He has to come out. Jamel Martinez is docking him down. Thinks about it again. Usually your extension is your guard, and for Rick Pitino as they get down to three, because a good defensive set. Oh, what a board by Prickett. Won't go back. McCarty almost has it. Seven-point lead for Rick Pitino. 2.41 to go in the first half. Tough in overtime. Off the miss. Craig Hernandi will come up with a loose ball. But Gary Collier has fouled out for Tulsa as they try to hang with the Hogs. It's a tie game. Minute 40 to play in OT. They are not going anywhere. Tied at 87 apiece. Well, both clubs have fast hands and the ability to pilfer if you relax. And right here, McCarty, who's fairly decent with the ball. Reggie. Excuse me, Ray Geary going wire to wire. And right here, we got a little 9.5, huh? On degree of difficulty with the little shake as Reggie goes strong to the tip. 9.5. You're tough. Give him a 10. I, th I thought that was a 10. Well, he's, he had a jam before. I would have given that a 10. <laughs> We'd have a chance to oh, set okay. it up. 
over the course of this tournament, Kentucky averaging 11-5 steals, Arizona 10. We'll see what's happening tonight. And there'll be plenty more to come. Both teams play that pressure defense. And here's a little 1-3-1 look. It's the elbow or the baseline jumper, and they trap out of it to give you a little difficulty. Shot clock now approaching 10. And they shade to Stoudemire and Reeves. Now they go man to man. Stoudemire trying to fight his way free. Finds Khalid Reeves. Won't go. Long rebound. Walter McCarty chases it down. Nice job, though, by Stoudemire to spot Reeves and find him with the shot clock winding down. Activity. They pry quickly and dish. The motion wears you down defensively. Martinez. Blair with the rebound. Ray O is trying to get on track. Tough shot on the baseline. It won't go. He has shown some signs, though, of being a player. Now, this is the end that is demanding. You see Blair now up on Jamel Martinez. And two big guys looking to post up. Nice play. Great play by Martinez. Fake the shot. Finds Prickett. Because he made the shot, Blair can't jam it up for them. So you pay for what you did earlier in the ball game. And Prickett, a guy I mentioned before the extension, he's the guy that sort of exemplifies, I think, the hard work of a Patino team. Williams misses from the baseline. Delt coming away. And they got numbers here. Jamel. to the altar a big and a strong completion he's got a package and the total we saw him shoot from outside as well Chris Fowler coming up with the Delta Fawcett halftime report they've shown you number one Arkansas and Tulsa in a battle as well as top 25 scores and highlights they'll give you everything but right now Arizona that's a three uh, he could spin in a phone book. He got himself to the middle of the floor. Here he forces the steal. Went off cricket. And Arizona will have a chance for the last shot. Down by eight right now. I'm sure that's what Lute Olsen will decide to go for. I don't know about that, the way these <laughs> high-powered offenses are, but Reggie Geary, beautiful defensive work a couple of trips ago, ends up with a pretty goal this time, gets the turnover. The little guy, huh? He's sort of the third guard out there, although he plays some big people. Reeves slides in, finds Geary. Oh, the three won't go, knocked back up. It's not in. Cricket finds Glass, and at halftime, it's an eight-point lead for the Wildcats of Kentucky. It should be a great second half. Right now, let's take it back to Chris Fowler. ESPN's exclusive coverage of NCAA basketball is brought to you by Hala Shoe Source. And welcome back once again to the Lahaina Civic Center. At halftime, the Kentucky Wildcats lead the Arizona Wildcats 49 to 41. John Saunders along with Bill Rathery. We expected the up-tempo game. We have seen that. We expected the pressure. We've seen that. And Kentucky really spreading their offense around. Uh, the inside people contributing so much so often. Their cutting, their screening has gotten them free and an ample number of opportunities. As we look at the Payless first half statistics, Kentucky at 51 percent. We've broken it down into two point field goals and three pointers and Kentucky actually shooting a little bit better from outside the three point stripe than they are from inside it but pretty good overall and the free throws Kentucky only took one free throw and that's probably what Rick Pitino is talking about right now. Wait a second. How can we only take one free throw Kentucky on the front line has the advantage in points and in rebounds and in touches and in activity and that's been 
the dilemma for Lute Olsen. So they've got to continue to find play out on the wing, but let Joseph Geary and Ray O's contribute a little bit. You know, Geary stepped it up, and Joseph Blair's got to touch it, too. Stoudemire outside to Reeves. He has a three-pointer. Little screen the screener for Delt. Dumps it off the Rhodes. Roderick misses everything that time, and Dent knocked that one out of bounds. Doesn't look over at Lute that time. Can't blame him. Early in the game, after a couple of made jumpers, had a conversation with Lute Olsen. Actually, Lute looked back at him that time. <laughs> a little zone look right now. Shady, the shooters. Pretty. Oh, what a catch by Blair. Doesn't convert. Extraordinary. He should have gotten his balance and got up strong. Brickett, oh, stripped by Khalid Reeves. Nearly loses it. Look at that use of the bounce. Behind the back lean, tries to dump it off for Ray O's. Possession arrow goes to Kentucky. Now that's what makes them so hard to cover. If you're a good shooter and you run up and you've got these two outstanding guards, Stoudemire and Reeves, they can bounce through. A real dilemma for Rick. They've gotten better each day here, haven't they, Kentucky? They really have. And this is a team that uh, Rick Pitino didn't think they were very good at the start of the season, and I don't mean that they wouldn't be very good, it's just that they weren't a little pushed off by Dent to get free, and they catch it. Uh, they say that they don't foul. They work hard. They step up the lane. It's amazing they can make that play from so high on the floor. The key is to make sure you don't push. Well, that's like basketball. Ooh. I'm not quite Got a sure play I on. Push there. Don't they have a play on in some sport? <laughs> yeah. yeah, you know that sport, don't you? Play it on ice. And here's that blitz and the step up by Roderick Rhodes. Oh, and, and gorgeous defensive set causes the turnover. Everybody zoned up beautifully for Rick Pitino. Stoudemire had to call for the time. It's a five-point game. Doesn't it feel so sharp? Doesn't it feel on the mark? Doesn't it feel good to pay less? Who's got the latest men's shoes on sale? Pay less. Doesn't it feel like leather? So put together. Doesn't it feel good to pay less? Men's leather lovers, dress shoes, and hikers starting at a very comfortable $19.99. Better step on it. Doesn't it feel good to pay less? My dander's really bad. The itch drives me crazi. I'll try anything. The Denerex side feels different. It has a clean, tingling feeling. Nothing with head and shoulders. Both Denerex and head and shoulders have effective dandruff medicine. But Denerex goes a step further with something extra that tingles to give your scalp a fresh, invigorating feeling. A tingle is why I started using Denerex. Try Denerex with conditioners, the serious dandruff shampoo. No more flakes, no more itch. My dandruff's history. We're back in the tower with Gary Player, and Gary Maui seems to bring out the best in you. Like that sand shot. Jim, I dug my feet in, and I must say, it came out beautifully. And your drives were a sight to see. I always have incredible drives on Maui, even with all the dog legs. Gary, are you at the top of your game right now? I'm playing with my head in the clouds. Although I have to admit, the wind showed me no mercy. Any final thoughts, Gary? <laughs> oh, yes. You'll love playing around on Maui. John Jarvis, Kelly, as we come back, 49-44. A little beach time in Maui with Kentucky in charge. And uh, they're working on their footwork, their little pivot. And this isn't Broadway or the chorus line. The Rockettes have no concern. I thought Joseph Blair showed some good moves. Jason Ritchie also with it there. Not bad, huh? Jarvis Kelly. I'll tell you what, the footwork on the beach must be coming in handy in this game because Arizona has committed three fouls the entire game. Dent for Kentucky has three fouls himself. And all the Kentucky, it doesn't surprise me because all the Kentucky fans at halftime were, were asking us what we thought was it fair. Blair, good step through. Had to change the shot, though. And they got the foul, too. 
Good hustle, though. I like that. After the timeout, most coaches, and that's why Luke wins consistently, they get it to their big man, but the extraordinary inside defense. Kentucky gets to the ball. Bees to Honey. As Dent, you mentioned playing with the three, and you can't complain to Joseph Blair. That's hustle. Just happens to bang into a smaller guy. Travis Ford hit the deck. Nice entry pass. Dent almost lost it. Roderick Rose wants a closer look to the baseline. No good. Ray O's has the rebound. Seven rebounds for O's now. O's again. The shooter. Now that was an NBA play. All on his own, able to position and out jump the defender. They've been getting some more looks and touches, and that helps Arizona. In front, or down low, I should say. Ray O's has been extremely impressive. Tony Delk with three, trying to answer. Rattles in and out at the other end. Glenn Reeves with a good catch, takes it up. And Delk has to foul. See how high Reeves, clever, getting it up. Tony on the leak out, unable to get back. Both clubs respond quickly to the transfer from offense to defense and defense to offense. Damon Stoudemire, he throws some great loop. Look how high he tries to get it up now. Extraordinary effort, the protection and dealt a major league, but anytime they usually give it to you. Couldn't coax that one into the hole. That's number three on Delt. Arizona looks formidable because there are more looks inside. It'll help the guards, I believe, if they can give it to them, let the big guy make a move and kick it back out to them. Nine to points for Khalid Reeves. Because Kentucky's very active at helping out. You might get some free opportunities. Travis Ford for three. Barringer. Eleven for Ford. Stoudemire from way out and is short with it. Ray O's. What a rebound. Oh. Muscles it in, but they, they got charged. The well, there was contact, John, but this is an extraordinary show of effort and ability. Once he out jumps Brickett, and right there he does lower the shoulder, but just a gorgeous kiss release and live for it again. His first two of the game. And soft enough by four to be tippable. Reeves. And Ford has to foul him to slow him up along the baseline. Three on Travis Ford as well. So Kentucky getting into a little foul trouble. John, watch the reaction defensively. This is an empty side. Dent will come into the picture from the other side. He's not going to let that shot get up there. Just gorgeous contributing on the defensive end to help your little guard out. You now have Delk, Ford, and Dent, each with three fouls. Ford and Dent and Delk all still in the game as well. That's where they're tough. Deny all passes. Once the guy kills himself with the dribble. Very nice tough. I'm telling you, of, of the people who you didn't know were great players coming in, he has been one of the most impressive in this tournament. They've got one of those mystery front lines when you think of them. Geary, O's, and Blair. As they improve, this team will be a tough out. Eight points and eight rebounds for O's. Oh, a little help from Dandre Ford would have lost that one. And then the blocking foul on Geary. Tough little guy as well. I saw his nephew, his sister's boy. His name is Ford. And he calls his uncle Choo Choo because he just can't get the Travis on. He motors in the lane that time. I mean, he's a feisty guy, their leader. And able to get into traffic and get the attention of Reggie. Travis Ford has yet to miss a free throw this season. 25 for 25. And one for one tonight for Kentucky. This is their second trip to the line. They're getting those letters ready for John Saunders. <laughs> if there is a miss. How could you even mention it when he's at the line? Don't you know? It's like a no-hitter. You're not supposed to mention it. So it's a lock that you can set up your defensive sets with this kid on the line. 
you know he's going to knock it down, and all of a sudden you're organized. Here's a little zone look, and they got the ball in the, in the hands they would like. Now they can try and shut off the other lanes. Blair with the screen for Khalid Reeves, and he buries the three. He needs a lot of room. <laughs> 12 for Reeves now. Delk pulls up. And rattles it in. The push ahead made it all happen. Travis Ford at the suggestion of Rick Pitino said, hey, give it up. Don't dribble the ball as much. Get the others involved. Reeves, a little tough. Blair with a put back. And as the season goes on, those type of points, Blair will be able to mm -hmm. pick up a lot of them. Roderick Rose can't get the three, although he was close on it. Owens grabbed the rebound. This has really gotten the ball out of Stoudemire's hand, blitzing that pick and roll. Geary oh! and avoids the charge with the slide by. The kiss at the end, rather easy. Tino has seen it up. He wants a timeout, and we'll get back to Maui in a great one in a moment. It's just a car. Yeah, right. Top Stadium Club. It's extreme intensity. Extreme design. It's taking chances. It's beam team. It's a radical point of view. If you want to feel the game like this, you can't go just anywhere. You got to go to the extreme. Top Stadium Club. It's extreme. Getting bored with just plain nuts? Introducing new Fisher favorite tropical fruit and nut mix. A more exciting flavor combination. Pineapple, papaya, sweet cream almonds, honey roast peanuts, and whole cashews. Crunchy nuts with juicy real fruit. New Fisher Favorites Tropical Fruit and Nut Mix. The newest Fisher Favorite. It's Fisher flavor or it's just plain nuts. Why do we do this every year? Wait till the last minute to shop for the holidays. What do we give Mom and Dad? Let's give Dad his lucky brother. Yeah, the kids are upstairs. Let's wrap the ice cream. Yeah, the ice cream. Foot Locker. It's easy. I'm going to give you to Mommy. Reebok, Fila, Nike. Oh, hon, don't look. I just found your gift. You're my favorite fish, and I'm going to wrap you up. Do you have these cowboy jackets in small? Michigan for Keith, Notre Dame for Gary. Wrap the toaster. You think they got us something? Get the dog. The yeah, dog. boy, yeah, boy. John Saunders, Khalid Reeves would leave you with your lingerie lingering. Great blow by speed. You notice Kentucky coming in as Dent does frequently to help out, but Blair able to clean up the mess because they don't get the other people down. Look at this speed by Reggie. Incredible as Prickett comes in to take away that baseline and then the extraordinary slide by and out ability. I mean, it wasn't one just where you just slide. He's got to come out and use the glass. Terrific body control. He's done it a few times this evening. He and O's, huh? A lot better than everybody thought. Very impressive, both of them. And right now, we have a two-point game. Closest Arizona's been since the 11-point mark of the game. Ford around a screen. Almost, but won't go. Dent comes up with a loose one. He's stripped. Look at Geary run the floor. He wanted it. Oh, Rhodes with the reach in. Just the first on Roderick Rhodes. You think he should have given it up? Got that wing guy. Geary was yelling for it. He was open. And I think he had the baseline if he got it, too. A lot of guys will say, I didn't hear you. <laughs> I knew you were coming, but I didn't quite see you. Coach said, don't ever throw it behind. Shepard in now. Got to be careful when you hug him. Nice play by Ford. When I say hug Stoudemire, as we've noted, his blow-by ability puts you back on the heels of your feet. Dan from behind. That'd be number four. Field goals in the first half for Kentucky and in the second half at 33%. Arizona's picked it up to a 60% rate. 
Den has to go to the bench with his fourth. Now, yesterday we saw him slide by and steal it, but he got the left hand, and that time he went with the right hand, and it caused the problem for him. Stoudemire is wide open with the rainbow. Three games in three days, maybe taking a toll on some of the gentlemen. Very much so. Not easy this early. You don't have your sea legs. Well, she's flown all the way over here. It's hot in this gym. Spent a lot of beach time and in the pool. I didn't see any of these kids in the pool. Shepard buries a three. Well, he talked about his ability athletically. Well, a nice little spot duty could help Kentucky. Stoudemire into O's. Up with it. What do you want, John? <laughs> Jumper? Little jump hook? And that puts pressure in that low post area. Now he's shown the jumper, the bounce, and the jump hook. Ten for O's. Andre Riddick. Roderick Rhodes. Geary nearly strips him, and Rick Pitino says, hey, there had to be a foul there. He's up off the bench. Shot clock down to seven. Release no good. Geary with the clear. Ooh. Hold on, John Saunders. I got you. Yes! I didn't want you to leave the booth. Ooh. A miscue due to sloppy ball handling. He was doing the right thing, too, Reggie Dewey. Kicking it to the wing. All right, I'm back. <laughs> uh, I was about three rows up, but I'm back now. And Stoudemire creating his own shot. I wonder if they had a snack on that flight for Roderick Rhodes. Vegetarian meal, please. The one that's up that long, there should be one, and a movie. Undeterred, right. right though, Arizona. Right back at him. Ford lets it fly and answers right back. He uses that bump outside as well as anybody we've seen. I think they give it to Stoudemire. Shepard down there. Jeff giving him some problems. I don't mind if I have a little cup of coffee, and I think I'll have the fish platter. Air Rhodes. That's really a Rhodes scholar. That is getting up in a hurry. All the way from Jersey City. In one bound. Under 12 now left in this one. Six-point lead for Kentucky and a chance to add to that. Shepard nearly lost it and does. Reeves with the steal. Bad decision by Shepard. Well, also pretty heady play by Khalid out in the open. Just the hesitation enough. When you're from the city, you like the body on the body. And that time, just a little slower. They like three, they don't like two. That was beautiful. Should have let him go, too, though. Let him go or make sure he can't make the shot. But Reeves did hold up and wait for him to catch him so he could get the extra point. And the thievery out in the open, devastating as you open the floor, you bear the floor. Can't convert the three-point play. Almost stole it. Does force a near turnover. Say, I'd be tempted to put Reeves on him the way he's been playing for it. The switch. Outside Riddick. That was not even close. No. But Rick Pitino encourages his big people to shoot him from uh, out there. It, it, that's what's great. Now, he'll make some. Maybe today, but all season long because of that philosophy.
like to turn the corner and create if they can. Scott Amaya backs off Shepard. Oh, what a oh, follow in there by Corey Williams. Riddick wanted it, got it. Flanagan. Got the weak side there if he wanted it, Ford. Second. Creating off the shot. You've got to put a body nice inside position as Corey all alone. Unattended. That's the mistake you'll seldom see by those Wildcats. Not into the bonus yet. Pretty intense though, isn't it? Oh, and it's not even Christmas. It's been tremendous. This could be a Final Four game. Mm -hmm. You would like to see one this feisty, huh? Nice little look, the lead, but pretty good help by McLean down there and Flanagan with the body on him. Turnover number 11 on Kentucky. I mentioned Flanagan. He was out on the beach surfing. Dylan rigged it at eight. California. Not bad, huh? Get it out of here. Always see the ball. That's the key. And look to help your partner. Uh, Andre made up quickly for the other end. And Riddick heads to the bench. How did you feel in your neighborhood when they used to put them back out? Swat my zone? shot? Yeah. You could swat my shot sitting in a chair. Uh, Gamel uh, riding too closely. But he's a fast break starter, and he keeps them in bounds, Andre Riddick. And one thing Rick said to us the last couple of days, he's coming. Kentucky with just three attempts from the line. They're making the most of them, but just three. Do you think that'll be brought up? Oh, uh, not at all. Rick Post noticed that at all. Stuff like that sort of escapes his view. 15 for Reeves, and Wood Olsen will look at that and say, well, the official called a great game, provided he manages to come away with a W. Well, he'll probably think that I got a good shake in an away gym. <laughs> it, it is like an away gym, no question. Wood Reeves misses a chance to tie the game, so Kentucky holds on to the one-point lead. We're under 10 minutes to go. Good ball movement using the floor. Rhodes to the baseline, no good. Prickett! Just love his effort. The continuing saga of Jared Prickett. What can I do to make us better, make us win, is what he contributes to Kentucky. 12 for Prickett now. The lead back to three. Pretty good use of the bounce. He was tied in there. Reeves likes to help his club. What can I do to help us win? The discard, and now the ability to get your body in where you can do some damage. He just did a little slide by, nothing fancy, and the touch kiss at the end. A lot of energy expended during a 40-minute game by that youngster. And then at the other end, picks up the second foul. Lid Reeves struggling at the line, three of seven tonight, an 80% free throw shooter. And that looked more like Khalid Reeves. His stock, although high, is soaring a little bit because of his open shooting ability and his use of the dribble and a great frame. I mean, that's one of those bodies that when they open up that line, huh? Coming off tackle, they knock a few bodies over. Imagine him in a basketball uniform, splitting defenders. Back to a one-point Kentucky lead. Travis Ford, quick release on the go. He doesn't back up. That's what I admire. A couple of steals, a couple of misplays by him, undeterred. 19 for Travis Ford. lost the pass Ford comes up uh -huh. with it weaves his way in a leaner no good Arizona basketball 
a nice defense because Delk had flared out and they strung Travis Ford out to dry just a little bit. He was going to kick it and they would get over. He ended up trying to throw the flyer up. I think O's deserves or is owed one. And Ray has shown some great skills on this end. Reeves in, flying in. The block is called. Martinez cried for the block of the basketball. We're missing a little bit. I th I, I, we just mentioned the football, the speed. Harding defenders. I mean, he can take a hit and make a goal. Wins games with that jumper. Early in the game, we saw one. Just a strong, dominating personality on the offensive end. We're going to get a chance to watch some terrific basketball, but we're going to get a chance to watch some terrific basketball Individual. players. I mean, oh, they individuals are, are tremendous in this game. They usually go hand in hand. Is that right? What did you say? <laughs> uh, good players make good games. And two darn good coaches make for even a better game. Well, you would know about that. Well, I don't think I never played Lou. Ricky, as I noted, uh, when he came into the Big East, I wasn't sure Mullen drove me out, Ewing, or Patino. So wait a second. These players only stick around for four years. This coach might be here to beat me for a oh, they can, of they, can, they can ruin your life and career. 71-69. Kentucky has the lead. Both teams well prepared. Look at the gamble. Great effort by Reggie Geary. Just a tad like they know what each one's going to run, and the reaction is extraordinary. Tony Delk with the layup. Nice move. Oh, what a use of pack. Corey Williams got himself free. Say, Geary gives it up, too. Great pass, but Corey Williams to use the basket to protect the ball. Nice job. Ford lets fly with it. Travis Ford on fire. He has 22 points. Weary now. Damon Stoudemire defensively is where you'll back up a little bit. You can on Travis Ford. Can't rest on that end. Get down. Williams trying to find Stoudemire. Ray O's chases down the loose ball. Stoudemire in, stops, hits it. And he knew he had Martinez in the back. That's why he picked the dribble up. 25 for Damon Stoudemire. This is a battle right now as Ford tries to answer back. He wasn't off the mark quite Ooh. much. Wait for the big guys, Damon. The little uh, toe, toe stopper. Four on Travis Ford, and we still have seven minutes plus left in this one. Uh, it's so important to get free, and when you screen, and then you screen four. I mean, he was very active, Corey, with the use of the glass. Great design and deployment by Luke and his guys. Ford's going to have to get the bench with four fouls. Shepard comes back in. Brasso returns. A little bit of a smaller look now for Kentucky. Now, this is where they like to maybe use Dent down that three-second lane where he shapes up and they run that high-low pass. A lot of times, though, they'll have another 6'9 guy with that entry. Mm -hmm. Now, Prickett can be that guy. Brasso, too, has given them life yes. all during the week. He comes in, something good seems to happen. Mentioned uh, Norman Scott, the doctor that operator's got to feel good. The kids bounce back big time. 27 for Stoudemire. It's a one-point game.
Happy holidays from all your friends at TKR Cable of Louisville. Welcome back to Lahaina in the Civic Center. John Saunders along with Bill Raftery. What a game we have going here in Kentucky with a one-point lead. And what a day on Christmas Day. Starting at 7 Eastern Time, Sports Center follows down the list into the best of Sports Center 93. And then Chris Berman's nicknames. It's now a show. And Sports Center is back again. I'm telling you, when you're hot, you're, you're hot. hot. And he's been a show for years. La Boba. And without Ford in the game, now the leadership goes both to Shepard and Tony Delk. And right now, the Prickett bring it up, and that takes Stoudemire out of the play. Pretty heady move, don't you think? Absolutely. Shepard handling the basketball now. Delk finds Prickett nowhere to go, so he just fights his way, gets the rebound back, and sticks it in. He's got some ticker. I mean, that's just a will goal. And they got the hand check, Shepard. They got Flanagan for the bump, and all of a sudden you're leading one way. Ray O's checks back in. Luke's been resting those big guys. They've been having a nice little blow. See if they can come in and get to O's a little bit. Stoudemire goes to the line with 27 points, five assists and a steal. Travis Ford, 22 points, four assists and two steals, but they're on the bench right now, and that could be a problem. Solid, solid play in the backcourt, which was expected. Inside people have to be the answer for both clubs. You notice how little the press, because of the level of play, has been ineffective. <laughs> it really has. Yeah, been. just go back. Let's play half court. Let's forget about it. You got guys who have no problem beating it. Arizona basketball on the good hustle down there by Reggie Geary. And now Arizona with a chance to tie or take the lead. Uh, Rick just turned to Billy Donovan, the three-play, what was it? And then the defense notified. Lid Reeves in the corner. Uh, Joseph Blair is doing everything but sending a telegram, begging down there for the ball. Reeves is open. That's a three. Arizona has the lead. It's the first for Arizona of this game. Gotta get the big guy down on the box to do some damage. He can make them. Rasha no good. Dan, the rebound, and then he's fouled, taking it up. He got down low. He can create some offense for his club, whether he catches it or on the follow. But the other thing is the ability to shoot soft enough as Rodney now knows, let me get under here and do my little damage, create some area. And you notice Joseph Blair just inattentive. He's, ah, he's not going to go out that far. It's going to come down here. You've always got to ride a guy out, particularly a guy as talented as Rodney Dent. Kentucky just their fourth three four of the game, and they're four for four. Roderick Rhodes going to come back into the game for the Wildcats, Kentucky Wildcats, that is. Brasso back to the bench. Fifty-seven percent shooter for Dent. Makes one of two. Game is tied. Stoudemire back out to Geary. Let's fly with a three. Offline. Delt with the rebound. Fly it in was Reeves. Boy, does Stoudemire punish him with the bounce? He caved in the Kentucky defense. Have not gotten this high low going too much, have they? No. Nice dip in, and they had to look at Blair. Blair. It's had a very great help on, with Geary. Rhodes turns and knocks it down. Uh, Ricky, uh, thinking a little bit on the sideline. Roderick's got to step up for them. Why keep him near me? Rhodes stepping up just when he's needed, and Kentucky has the lead back. Nice job by Dell. Good job by Khalid Reeves, though, to fight free. Counted. Exploding. I mean, this is beautiful. He's up 
up against the big people too, John. It's not a matter of here he eliminates the trap and undeterred as he gets close to the 10, the step through scrape and completion. Maybe they're smarter than we are. Why give it to Joseph Blair, huh? I'm I can do it myself. You. I'm pleading your case, Joseph. They're not going to listen. At both ends of the floor, we have seen, and Rodney Dent has fouled out of the game, we have seen some of the best individual and team performances you're going to see. Now, can you picture these teams getting better as the year progresses? I mean, effort can't improve. I mean, this effort is a, sustained at an extraordinarily high level. Technique might, might see the offense smoothing out as the, as the year goes on, but not the effort. Can't get much deeper. The miss, he has 24 points, 19 in this half. Tied at 81, Roderick Rose brings it up. And another reason why Rick has him in the game, he can handle, takes away the problem. Ooh. Let's fly with that one, won't go. Cricket again, oh. steps in. The kid is tough. I mean, accolades for Reeves come easily. You think of Travis Ford stepping up with the threes, that comes easily. But the extra effort, the involvement in contributing in any way possible, that's what Jared Prickett brings to this club. 14 points and seven rebounds. He had 14 points and 14 rebounds in the opening game of this tournament against Texas. Trying to do a little saving. Great guys. Exchanging Williams for Geary. I think Kentucky might go for it a little on this. A little pressure. A little pressure here on the make. It does explode the guards, though. That's the danger. And they do. They go heads up on the ball. Well, he is a gambler now. Petito does not step back. There's the trap. They do get it across the timeline with about a second and a half to go. Sotomayor even with the tip to save it before the 10 second violation. Fight. Blair can't get it. What a substitution putting Roderick back in. like a bullet he had to catch. O's lets it go. Off the mark. Williams for the tip. Whew. Luke counters, huh? A little offensive ability. Got the defensive rebound. Being tired, you're not checking out as well. Both clubs having that difficulty. Kentucky with the timeout. Kentucky calls a timeout. They have one left. Quick time. Magic Moments, presented by the new Dodge. Long before his days as an NBA legend, Larry Bird roamed the hardwood for little-known Indiana State University. In 1979, the 6'9 forward put Terre Haute on the map by leading the Sycamores to the promised land, an undefeated season, and a trip to the NCAA Finals. He played his greatest game as a collegian against Wichita State, scoring 49 points in one of college basketball's magic moments. While they were cranking out wagons, hmm, round is good. We invented the minivan. When they introduced their minivan, mm, built like a rock. We gave ours integrated child seats. And now they've got an airbag. Oh, high tech airbag. We're introducing two. In fact, our new minivans meet all 1998 safety standards today. And now you can save $500 during our minivan safety leadership sale from a minivan company. Some people get nasal congestion, but if you get sinus congestion, use a sinus spray like Sinex. Only Sinex has a decongestant plus Vicks Vapors, so you can feel your swollen passages open up. For Sinus, think Sinex. What makes a man? What makes a man? The fragrance is Hugo Boss. The remote control race car, yours with any $33 Hugo Boss fragrance purchase at fine department stores. Welcome back to Maui, John Saunders and Bill Raftery. It is 83 apiece. 
3.46 to go. Lute Olsen in his huddle. In Arizona, the pressure that they put on you normally causes opponents to struggle from the free throw line. They get up there, they want a breather, I guess. 40% on the season in the last five minutes of games. Mm -hmm. Tonight, that has not been the case, hasn't affected them. They haven't been pressing as much, though. That's true. And uh, the ability to handle the ball, you think Travis Ford in the game, 345 left. Latino saying, why save him? Need that leadership. Ford has four fouls. Roger Rhodes backs it out. Jamel Martinez and Blair has to come out on him. This is where experience shows. Guys confident to take a shot like that. Delt can't get it. Prickett nearly had the rebound. But Corey Williams clears. Checking out important now. Blair working on Martinez, nowhere to go. They can lock it off the lane, almost do. Not bad when you can take a rest and give it to a guy like Hillard Reeves, huh? Shot clock's under 10, he backs off forward and pops the three-pointer. Ooh. He just had about a foot cushion, too. You're right, he can shoot it out of a phone booth. He has 22 in this half for Khalid Reeves and 27 on the night. Martinez bumps into oh. the player and hits it. Actually, the bump helped him. Softens you up for the stroke. Not a good inbounds pass down there. Good job by Stoudemire to get out of trouble, at least momentarily. Dish off to Ray O. Strip. Blair takes it up and puts it in. Great job by Rose. But look at what the press does. It stirs up Damon Sadamar. He got into the traffic quickly. Board out to Dell. That's a three-pointer. Bang, bang. Are we in Maui or are we in Charlotte? At the final four. Oh, they would love this in Charlotte. Stoudemire loses it. Help from O's. Moore has four fouls, but he's still going after that basketball. Now watch O's in that corner. A little strong. Roderick Rhodes with the rebound. Rick wants a timeout. Rick Patino takes his final timeout of the game with 125 to go. In 1992, we created the first integrated child seat for the minivan. Now we've improved it. We put the first airbag in the minivan. This year, we've added one for the passenger. In fact, we've improved over 2,400 parts on the new Dodge Caravan and Plymouth Voyager. They meet all 1998 federal car safety standards today. Where does that leave a competition? Now save $500 during our minivan safety leadership sale. Hey, here's your ding ding, big fella. Huh? Mm. Yeah. Here's daddy's ding ding. Once you get a look at those two all beef patties. No, this is daddy's. What you trying that to special say? sauce, lettuce, cheese piled fresh and hot on that sesame seed bun. <laughs> You've got to have a Big Mac. What you want is what you get <laughs> at McDonald's today. Welcome back. We're still tied. 88 apiece here in Maui. The championship game, 125 to go. Well, they tried to double team Damon Stoudemire in this great look away and the strip by Rhodes, but just the pressure of the bounce, it ends up positive for Lute Olsen. And their Wildcats, says Joseph Blair, who's expended a lot of energy in a very difficult arena in terms of heat. As you can see, Kentucky has taken their final timeout. Arizona still has two. Team fouls. Kentucky is 10 on them. Arizona has still put Kentucky into the one and one, but not into the double bonus yet. The possession arrow goes to Arizona. Sports Center coming up next with Dan Patrick and Gary Miller. Possible record-setting nights for the Mavs and the Rockets. And big deals, apparently, for Troy Aikman of the Cowboys and Lenny Dykstra of the Phillies. You'll find out after this one is done. As Brasso 
Got, got a knocked shot. in the nose. It's going to be hard to play with one hand on his nose. He's looking at the official for some help. They're down to eight. They got to get something going. Nice ride out by Joseph Blair. Ford lets it go. Buries it. 25 for Travis Ford. They let Reeves penetrate, and he tries to end up with the jumper. Tough shot. He's fouled, though. Great presentation, though. Nothing easy. Jamel looking for the jump ball with some personality, and I can't blame him. I mean, there is contact, but who initiates, right? Knowing, lying in there. Sure, knowing the play was coming, they were ready for it, too. Right, right. You know, the clock stopping down the stretch almost gives you a timeout. So Patino, with that last timeout, wanting a certain play, didn't actually get what he wanted, but creativity off the bounce, and the pick for Ford got them a basket. Raves with 23 points in this half. 28 on the night. Well, he's been shooting all his life to stay in the game all day. You know, in the schoolyard. Well, this is uh, to stay alive and not sit out for a few hours. It's a one-point lead for Kentucky. 40 seconds remaining. Trying to get the ball back to Ford's hand. I, they may end up forcing him to give it up. Somebody else is going to have to step up and make a play. Roderick Rhodes. Shot clock at 15. Uh, Reeves is gambling. Uh, now he takes him out of the play. Back out to Brasso. Rhodes. Going to try and create one. A little strong. It comes to, oh, a big collision. I was saying it didn't hit the rim. Now they correct it. We've got an injured player as well. That's the end of the play where the contact occurs. Corey Williams and Jeff Brasso just hammered into each other. And now, Williams is down. Trying to make sure he doesn't move until he is sound. The key is... I thought the ball hit the rim. I thought it did, yeah, too. That's it, why I was surprised when it, I saw... Well, I think the officials concurred and are now giving the ball back to Kentucky. Corey Williams being attended to, but... Oh, good. He's up. It may you not. know what? It may not have hit the rim. They... The officials want to see a replay. Ted Valentine now over here at the desk. Can we get a replay? Uh, John Saunders, this is an unusual situation as we're going to try and cue it up just to be sure Ted Valentine wants to take a look. Play it back again, please, if we could. Ted Valentine wants another look at it. The question is, did the basketball hit the rim? And if it did not... If it did not hit the rim, then it was a violation of the shot clock. It's a... By Ted Valentine, not permitted to do this by rule, but wants to be sure because of the importance of the situation. And it... It, it did not hit the rim, as you could clearly see. It is a shot clock violation. Ted Valentine signals and the basketball will go over to Arizona. And a first right here with an official using instant replay. Well, the question is, they can use replay for a correctable error. But time, time right. malfunction. I realize, I understand that. This is not one no, of those no, situations. It doesn't, it doesn't That's the point I'm trying to make. Fall under the rule. Nevertheless, I frankly like getting it correct, though. I, I agree. I love replay, instant replay. We have it. Ted, Ted Valentine decided to use it. Ted Valentine has it. I mean, that showed a lot of guts. 
Oh, they got a ride out by Roderick. Rick Patino can't believe it. Khalid Reeves is going to go to the line with 5.5 seconds left in the game. Arizona down by one. The important thing now, the ride out, this is one that maybe they could play on. He didn't lose the dribble. There was contact. However, the importance of pushing the ball up the floor. No timeouts for Patino. Depending on what happens here, the speed dealt coming in the floor. Ford. And what's very important here, Bill, is we're into the double bonus now. Uh -huh. So it's no longer a one and one. Reeves gets two right. shots no matter what. They have been for a couple of trips. Yes. So it's a situation that the key now, without the timeout, is who gets the inbounds pass. So you might look for a little more pressure by Stoudemire, Geary, and Reeves on the inbounds. Kids got it. Forget about it. Don't play winners out with him. You want him shooting when they're picking the team. Game's tied at 91. Reeves with a chance to give them the lead. He can bet Lute Olsen will likely call a timeout if he makes this. Does not decide to let Kentucky bring it up. Rhodes for three. Doesn't get a tip. Brasso! Brasso! Comes up big! coverage of NCAA basketball is brought to you by Sinex, the only decongestant spray with Vicks Vapors. For Sinus, think Sinex. And by Budweiser, Beachwood aged for a crisp, clean, classic taste. 